Welcome back. Uh, Joseph Atewe is here now in the studio. Joseph, good morning. Good to have you. Good morning, guys. It feels great uh, to be on this platform to come talk sports uh, once again, and most especially, you know, um, uh, the Channel's Kids, uh, Kids Cup in that one. It feels great, you know, seeing kids that are given uh, the necessary opportunities, you know, to, to explore, to show the world uh, what they've got. And every time, you know, I watch these kids play, all I can say is kudos to Channel's. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Spectacular goals. I mean, well, celebrations. I, I, know, I just can't keep watching. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we're <laughs> going to watch a lot more. Uh, the, the Nationals is coming as well, so that's, the, we that's the big one. That's the big one. Okay, let's talk to you for Champions League now. Juventus, uh, Juve, the old lady from Turin, uh, they have secured a place in the final in Cardiff, and uh, it was a 2-1 win in the second leg over Monaco, uh, making a 4-1 um, aggregate scoreline. Joseph, obviously, you've actually tipped. Juve to go all the way. Mm. So you're not surprised by this as well at all? Well, I, I'm not surprised. You know, Juventus are true to the final in that one. They want to become the first team since 2010, you know, to win an Italian team, rather, uh, to win a treble in that one after Inter Milan under Jose in mm. 2010 in that one. And I think for Juventus, uh, I think their strength don't only lies in the defence, but yeah. also in every area. You look area. at the defence. I mean, sport. incredible, terrific defence uh, uh, defending from uh, the defenders. Yes, they talk about Chiellini. Yes. Fantastic. Look at that save. It was unbelievable. So, they talk about Juventus this and they've got every position right in that one going forward mm. and also the midfielders. If Diabala is off there's also there are some players that will come in you know to get the job done for them. So kudos to Juventus and also uh, the coach uh, Allegri because I mean after he came in in 20 was it 2012 or 2013 not to share at this point in time after he lost his job um, at AC Milan, AC Milan he had yes. some suspicion greetings from fans all over Italy in that one. No one gave him a chance. We all you know suspected that he might not deliver in that one but then he has proved us all wrong in his first season I won a double got to the final and lost in the final to Barcelona. This is his third season and has done massively well. I think his contribution to Juventus has been immense and we must give him kudos for that. So right. going into the yesterday's game, I don't think uh, um, Monaco did not do enough. Danny they were not just Aves. able you know, to... You I mean, the man we just saw here, Danny Aves, I mean, he's 30, 34, right? Yes. Yes. It, I mean, just check the, 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 the ages of the players we mm. have at Juve. You have Buffon, I mean, he's not young. The then you have a Mario Mandzukic. These are players who were playing in big clubs before they left. Lini. And they came to Juventus. The way Massimiliano Allegra have been able to harness their talent at that age to play at the very high level. I was amazed by uh, Danny Aves' performance last night. Well, I, I was there, uh, and I'm not too surprised as a professional. Okay. I was one. I think he won more than 23 trophies for Barcelona in his 80th day. Uh, so it says a lot about him. So but coming down to think, Juventus, but yes. at that age, as you said, um, he has done well, no doubt about that. But then again, they should take a cue from AC Milan. Uh, because at some point when they had the likes of Thiago Mota, they had, uh, um, I mean, I said Thiago Silva, Silva, Silva. and also Zlatan Ivanovic, they've recruited third legs, and, and we know where they are today. So come next, and if Juventus is not performing, I won't be surprised. But I think the good thing, uh, I think they've done right now, is that they have a good youth system, and not just that, they're trying to bring in young talents, the likes of Diabala, as I said earlier, and some other mm -hmm. key players, you know, that can take off uh, from these guys, wherever they uh, are leave it at this point. But back to yesterday's game, kudos must be given to Monaco. They might win the friendly one, Get into the semi finals of the year for Champions League. Yes. No one gave them a chance, so Correct. I think they've done fantastically well. And Juventus, I think this is the right time you know, for them to win the year for Champions League because if they don't this season, I don't see them coming back in the next few years. Mm, interesting. Mm. Um, like I said, we have to give credit and uh, kudos mm. to uh, Monaco. No one gave them a chance to get to the semi finals. Actually, uh, before um, at the group stage of the competition itself, um, Monaco, I think we had 250 to 1 odds uh, to actually get to the semi. So, um, very, very. Uh, uh, and it's in has gotten an average of three goals per game in the mm. UEFA Champions League. That's massive. Okay. So do you think it's just um, um, inexperience that cost them that game, or do you think it's um, because they can't, um, they really but, uh, know how to defend why, why well? I said, no, why I said inexperience? Because if a Juventus takes on a Madrid, for example, trust me, they will concede. They will score goals. Mm. Uh, because they've got experienced players that have been you know, at this um, level, level. Uh, at times without numbers. They uh, have Cristiano Ronaldo, Karim yeah, Benzema, nice. and some other key players. So they will get the goals uh, for them. You have a Radim of Fakao, who at some point, you know, we all you know, said it was all over for him when he was in England. I mean, coming back, he's got yeah. youngsters to complement his effort going forward. But this stars then again, Mbappe is just 18. When mm. it comes to UEFA Champions, don't forget, Juventus have recruited well. They want to make it to the final. So I think inexperience, you know, cost them because because if you look at that game yesterday, they kept moving from the flanks. I mean, you look at Juventus, they've got ba uh, uh, Bazagi, there's Chiellini, there's Bonucci. Mazzucchi, These guys are experienced, but uh, uh, of uh, course they know what well. they do. So <laughs> you trying to come in from the flanks cannot work against Juventus. And I think that's the only reason why uh, they scored just one goal uh, over one of the eight minutes. Mm, 
interesting stuff. Uh, Kylian Mbappe, young star, 18, looks like he's going to be a superstar. 25 goals this season in 41 games. Mm -hmm. uh, what a player. Massive. Massive stuff. Yeah. Okay, so, um, Sean, I had something. Some tweets, yeah, from okay. the players, because if it, uh, from the players and also the official Twitter handle of UVN. This one coming from uh, Chialini, the defense world guy. He said, this is history. Our history, we go to Cardiff. Keep Go, keep doing that. Keep doing that. Simply means keep getting to the final of the Champions League every year. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well. And this one coming from the official Twitter hand of UV praising uh, what uh, uh, Buffon says. He said earlier that he always believed that he could play in another final. So on June 3rd, you know, this man will be back in the Champions League final. Mm. That's uh, kudos to the guy who has done it. And what does it look like on the Champions League night? This is the celebration, and that is what it's looking like. Mario Mazzucchi, of course, Danny Alves, all of them celebrating. And if you check, you know, the other picture there, you know, them in the locker room celebrating being in the final of the game. But then they still have lots and lots of job of to course. do. That is winning. Just check what they've done in Champions League this season. Yeah. Nine wins, three draws, and of course, how many goals considered? Three goals considered. Three goals considered. Mm. Oh boy. Incredible That's stuff. Right. I mean, incredible. 21 goals they've scored this in the FA mm. Champions. They've considered three compared mm. to what they did. You know, uh, I think the last time they got to the final, final um, yeah. against Barca, they considered more than six in yeah. that one. Um, so it says a lot about the current squad. You know, Juventus can post up. So is it, is it okay. better squad? And it's if, a far better squad. Okay, for you now, in the final, I mean, we're expecting Real Madrid mm. and Juventus. Mm. You agree with that? Yes, we expect Real Madrid, you know, to make it to the final after three goals to nothing um, against Atletico. You expect them, you know, to just, you know, bank on that and see if they can get to the final, which they will. So come uh, on the 3rd of June, mm -hmm. I think I will kill behind Juventus because, as I said, uh, no team, you know, has ever won the UEFA Champions League back-to-back -back and Juventus. If they don't this time around with a couple of players they have, 33, 34, 35, yeah. come next season, they might not be able to deliver, you know, at this uh, at level. So this is the best time for them to win the UEFA Champions League. They would win the Italian.